Hello, hello. Let's see if I am live yet here on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, it doesn't look like I'm live yet on YouTube and Facebook. You guys let me know. You can send me a comment. I think I'm streaming. Am I streaming? Yep, I'm streaming. Sometimes I push record, but ah. Drawing Days of Summer, Episode 7. Drawing Days of Summer. for This is for family. Uh, let, this is a family lesson for uh, geared for ages uh, 8 and up, but of course all ages are welcome. Hello, Rebecca. Hey, Shaw, how are you? Be sure to send me, if you have uh, kids on here, send me the name of your kids and I'll put it on my list here, okay? So, see that? I'll move this over so you can see. See if you have, uh, put your kid, uh, Alice is here. Okay, I'm going to put Alice. What's Alice's age? Alice, how old is Alice? And Evan, Sky, and Anna. I love this, Evan, Sky, and Anna, and Ike. Good to see you guys. Tell me your ages. And Holly, uh, what, you have to tell me the name again and the age. Not last names. Not last names. So tell me the name again because I want to incorporate them in the drawing. Shaw is 12. Hey, Shaw. Shaw's 12. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, A.V. Alistair. Uh, hey, Alistair. Now it's, um, oh, you're on your dad's computer. Okay. Well, as long as your parents are in the room with you, I feel comfortable with that. So I'll put Alistair here, and Alistair's 13. Uh, good. Oh, I see that your, I think your parents on the other computer. That's awesome. That's really cool. Let me see if I'm on live on Facebook. I'm just so glad to see you guys here. I, I'm not, uh, I don't think I have live going yet on my, let's see here. I'm going to try it one more time. There, let me close that. I'm going to go one more time to Facebook here. One more time. I'm missing all these names here. Um, I'll, I'll go back and get them here. Facebook. Okay. Well, there it is. Now let's go to... Now I'm... Ah, there we go. There we go. That's awesome. Okay, so we're live there. Uh, now, I missed some names here. Thank you. We have Jason. Jason's age 10. Look at all these kids. Jason is 10. We're, this is going to be a little more advanced lesson today. So we have Fatima. Hey, Fatima. Fatima. Fatima, you're like six, 17 now. Fatima, I'm guessing you're 16, 17 now. Or maybe you're... Maybe you're uh, 12, but you're just so brilliant that I th always think you're, you're older. Um, here, I'm going to do, uh, about 14. I always think you, because you're so good, Fatima, and all your lessons, and you're so, you have so many ideas when you come on to my Instagram live. Uh, Tony, hi, Tony. We have Tony here, and if I don't have your name right, I'm going to scroll down just real quick, because I want to get into the drawing lesson. Right away. We have Jason, age 10. I got that. Raiden is 7. Good to see you. Hello, Raiden. And Jadwin is 11. Jadwin is 11. Wow, we have a lot of students here. And uh, Alice is 10. All right, so that's good. Good to see you guys. Great to have you all here. Let me sh let's shrink this up and let's move this up in the corner. So we'll get our, look at that, can make it really teeny tiny. Woo, whoa. You love that? See that? Here, let me see if I can, here, I can move this one. This is my, th these are all my books and stuff here, my little slideshow. Ooh, Mission Control. I was invited to Houston Control, um, and the, it was really cool. I got, they put my picture graphic up there next to the live feeds on, on the, um, International Space Station. That was such a great day. I'll tell you more about that sometime. All right, let me let me shrink that down just a little bit. All right, let's get back the text at the bottom. 
Here's my website. All right, welcome, guys. This is episode seven. This was episode six. We just finished this up with for the younger kids. We did a pyramid with this view here, and we did the marching marshmallow, and we did the drawing direction cube. We're going to do a, a, a little more advanced lesson with you guys. So if you're ready, get your piece of paper, and I am going to roll this down here to the bottom. Uh, oh, Shaw, thank you for sending your artwork on Facebook. I'll make sure that I will take a look at that. Thank you. Make sure that you, uh, you send me your artwork. I love that. Thank you for sending me your artwork. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to make a, a reminder thing here. I'm going to make a little reminder thing here. See this? I'm going to make a little reminder thing to remind everybody to Facebook post artwork. I always I don't want to forget that. Thank you for reminding me to do that and as I come up with things to remember I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember that, okay? Awesome. All right, we have, uh, this is good. I got a good 45 minutes until I'm doing a school assembly. If I cut this off toward the end, um, it's because I have to, I'm going, I'm doing a school assembly, uh, a summer, uh, a summer uh, school art program this afternoon and also tomorrow. So um, tomorrow I might start a little bit later, but it's, it seems like, put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper. Uh, it seems like uh, uh, 2 o'clock uh, Central Time seems to be a good time for everybody. If I continue this uh, drawing days of summer for the rest of July and August, if I continue this, the drawing days of summer, what is the best time? What's the best time during the day for uh, a uh, drawing days of summer? If I continue this next week and the week after, let me know. Now, look, at you guys are all having... Uh, uh, you guys are chatting in the chat box. That's so cool that you're creating a little community out there. You're, you're my my artist enthusiast. All right, so now see this. I'm gonna flip it around so I can use that as my first square. So we're gonna do a little more advanced uh, pyramid. We're gonna draw the pyramid door. So I'm gonna draw a vertical line here. Watch this. Take your pencil and draw a vertical line. Okay. Now, uh. 12 o'clock uh, channels it's 12 o'clock is that 12 uh, midnight or 12 noon and where are you at what country what state i'm going to slant the pyramid down coming down now see i started light with whisper lines very whisper and now i'm going to start a little bit darker i want to talk about the drawing direction compass it's a very important we'll be talking about that again and again and again and again and again oh pakistan hello pakistan good to have you drawing with me good to have you drawing with me I'm going to be talking about the drawing compass. Now, the drawing compass, the drawing compass right here is these four positions that most artists use most of the time to draw in 3D. The drawing compass is basically a compass. I took a regular compass, a seaworthy compass here. I matey, land ho. And I flipped it over and put it on a cylinder, the drawing direction compass. And I took that compass and I put it on a cube so you can see how we use these four. These are the four positions we use most and you can see that you can see these positions if we look at the uh, drawing i did earlier if i can find it here where's that drawing i did earlier oh here it is see right here we did the direction northeast direction northwest this shadow on the on the is uh, southeast see all that it's very very cool very very helpful all right now Let's use that drawing direction compass. Okay, let's think about the box. See the bottom of the box right here. In fact, you know what? I want to draw that. Let's draw a drawing direction. We're going to come back up to this one. I just want to draw a direction compass to help us uh, as a reference. Put two dots straight across from each other. And uh, Journey sent me an email after the show. Uh, thank you, Journey, for saying on YouTube, you sent me an email. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can always send me emails. Now put a finger in the middle. We're going to draw a drawing. Now, we did this earlier, but I'm going to make this. Every drawing we do, we'll do a little different. We did that earlier. I'm going to put a two-layer box now, see? So if you watch both episodes, there's new stuff in each episode, I promise. Two dots, put a dot above your finger, and put a dot below your finger. And we're going to draw you draw a four-shortened square. Take your pencil, 
and draw a four shortened square. See that? Connect it. Draw that four shortened square. Isn't that cool? Sketch, get, sketch. Four shortened square. Now watch this. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down and we're going to use those guidelines. Now remember, this is the drawing direction compass. This is the drawing direction compass, and we use this a lot when we're drawing. Now, the middle line is going to be lower, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this line going to northeast, this line going in direction northeast, following that guideline. See? Draw that line, and then draw this line. See that? Now, watch this. I put a dot right below the middle. I went a little bit long on that one, so I'm going to take my eraser. Put a dot right here. Now, watch this. From here, I'm going to follow the line you already drew. We're going to draw that line, shoot it past the corner, and this one. Sometimes it's easier for me to to test. Your, your paper is not taped down. It's not nailed down. You can twist and you can turn your paper. You can twist and you can turn it. All right. Now, not to the corner. Go behind the corner. Not to the corner. Go behind the corner. Draw the four shortened uh, square. Isn't that cool? Now, let's put it, this is cool, this is another layer here, all right? We're going to use this when we draw the pyramid up here. Now, the middle line's lower, that's longer. Now, turn the corner, see this line right here? We're going to go uphill. I want you to practice this shape until you can draw this in a minute by yourself. I call this the 99 levels of drawing success, okay? The 99 levels of drawing success. And this is actually a chart that's in the book. I'll be talking about this, see that? The 99 pencil power levels, it's such a handy chart. What we're doing, we're working on right here, we're working on the uh, uh, level two. We're looking at the yellow pencil level. Okay, this this box right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn to the book. You can draw in 30 seconds so you can see what I'm talking about. We're, we're, doing, we're using this chart in the back of the book. Because of course, you get a free book with any membership to my Draw 3D. Okay, I'll tell you more about that in a second. But what we're doing is we're going to, See these, the 99 levels charts right there in the back of the book. So I'm going to go to lesson two and I'll show you what we're doing here. I'll show you what we're doing. We're going to draw the, right here. This is, we're going to draw part of the yellow pencil drawing club. But look at this. I want to show you this. This is uh, really cool. Here it is. Look at these timed, this is level two. And if you can draw this in 30 seconds, you check off that box. And then I want you to draw, in level two, I want you to draw five high. See what I did here? I want you to draw, this is one, two, three, uh, four, five, and you shade it. There's all these different levels, level six, level seven, level three. It just goes on. Look at this one, 25 sections. Look at this one. See this, and you check it off. There's, now, the reason I have timed levels is to build up your drawing confidence and your drawing instinct and your drawing skill, okay? That's the reason why I have timed levels. I'll talk more about that. Now, turn the corner. Watch this. Go uphill here. Go uphill here. And that's the guideline. Now, I've missed some of these tweets. I want to see the comments here. Uh, oh, good. I'm glad you guys. Uh, oh, there we go. I'm looking at the comments here. I'm going back. I, oh, thank you for all your comments. Jimmy, hi, YouTube. Good to see you. Hello, Jimmy. Now, for all of this lesson, we're putting the sun way up here. The light's up here. Okay. The, our sun from this direction. All right. The sun's up here coming down. So we're going to shade opposite. Okay. Shade opposite. Let's zoom in on that one. Shade, shade, shade. We're going to shade opposite. This is, hey, Jacob. Great to have you on the uh, YouTube with us. Hello, Jacob. Good to see you. Shade down here. I'm shading opposite. Now, remember, let's draw these reference lines. We're drawing our drawing reference, drawing direction reference box here. Drawing direction reference. Someone spell reference. Someone spell reference in the in the chat box. Drawing direction. I need the word reference. You guys spell reference, and then this would be blocks. Here, I need the word reference. Someone who's confident. Uh, I know it's starting with R, E, Ref, F. Ha! But I don't. I forget. It's an R E, 
Here, let's see. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Shaw. R E E. You guys can be my spell check. E N C E. Reference. Did I get that right? Oh, I misspelled it even with your help. Oh, my goodness. R E F Ref R E N C E. Right? Did I get it? Reference. All right. Thank you guys for your help. We're drawing drawing directions and reference blocks. Thanks for your help. I appreciate that. Now let's shade the side. This is just great. You could do layer upon layer of these, okay? See, we just did 10. We just did two of these, but you could do 10 layers, 15 layers. So this is direction north east, right? This is direction southwest that I'm putting the shadow. Look at this. Put the shadow here. We'll be doing this again and again and again and again during the summer. These are really, really good practice levels. Really good for building your skill. Put that shadow on the ground. Put that shadow. Do you love it? Put that shadow on the ground. Then up here. Now watch this. Coming up here. Now this is direction southeast. These are these are drawing directions that most artists use. Not all artists, but most artists use these. Okay. It just helps a lot position your your drawings. So make your drawings like if we're drawing pencils, right? Position them in these positions will help look like they're anchored to the ground and give your eye a good reference. All right. Looking great. So we're going to use these. When, now we're jumping back up here to our our pyramid, and we're going to take say the middle line is the middle line is uh, longer. So I'm going to go up here in direction northeast. Turn the turn the corner, going up here. And I now use this a lot when I was teaching on my TV show, Imagination Station. Did anybody ever see my show, The Imagination Station, when I wore the red suspenders? Do you guys remember that? I used these drawing directions a lot when I was teaching that. I don't know if you remember. I actually started teaching back in 1985 on this old TV show called The Secret City. Look, it was ever that young. One of my old viewers did this uh, uh, print of Mount Rushmore. Isn't that wonderful? And this is a, a fundraiser we use to help us keep uh, continuing our mission of these webcasts. If you want to get this print, I'll autograph it for you. It's called uh, Mount Rushmore of 1980s. Thank you, Michael Claro, for creating that wonderful print. Uh, this is at the, on the website. Now, if you buy any of my art prints, you guys, you can get that print. Or if you get this is my, my sales pitch. I'm going to try to limit it to two commercials. One now and then one at the end, all right? That's what I'm going to try because I know I get excited about my books and stuff. I talk about them nonstop. And then this print, I have so many different prints. So you get a free print. Uh, okay, wait a minute. You get you buy any print and you get a free book. I'll throw in a, a free book and I'll autograph it for you, okay? Does that sound good? Any print. If you buy any print, I'll give you a free book. Does that sound like a plan? Does that sound deal? Do you like that? Give me a comment. Is that, what do you think? Is that, uh, is that, a, is that pretty good? Cool little, little promotion there? I, this is a series I did in 1985 called The Imagination Station. Now, channel has one of my books. You, you, if you get one of my art prints, you send me an email or a little text in the purchase. Say, hey, I want this free book. You can get any of my books for free. Okay, you get any of my books. You can get, uh, yeah, you can draw in thirty seconds. You can get, you can draw in thirty days. You can get uh, drawing in three D. You can get imagination station. Uh, the only book, I have a whole bunch of them there, so you can look at my website here. Um, this is the one I'll be using most this summer. But if you do get the, the you can actually, I, I can't offer this one for free, but, oh, I can this one. Here. This one's a free book. If you get any print, or any of my membership, you buy, basically, you buy a drawing membership, or you buy a uh, print. Thank you for your support, by the way. And thank you for your patience in putting up with my blatant commercials. Get that. Now, this one is my new book. It just came out. This just came out. Uh, it's not actually. It's not even out officially. You can pre-order it. It's called Half Hour Pencil Power. So I'm so excited. Pre-order that. I would love that to be number one on Amazon before it even gets released. Okay. So I'm going to put these away. I'm just so tickled. Pink, you guys are drawing with me. All right. Let's continue this. Let's draw some more detail. Thank you for letting me do my promotion. Uh, Frog Stormy saying something about a frog. What's what's up with a frog, Stormy? Put the shadow down here. 
The sun's over on the other side. But before I do this, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some doorways. Here, watch this. I'm going to put a doorway. So right here, look, so I'm going to put this big doorway. I'm going to put an archway here. Uh, Laura Clark says her dad watched the Imagination Station when he was a kid. Oh, thank you, Laura, on YouTube for sharing that. Thank you. So now I'm going to put, look at this. I'm going to put the archway here. I'm going to put doorways here. So now, watch what I'm going to do here. I'm, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to erase this because I want to put that doorway thickness here. Look at this. That's all right. See, give yourself permission to make mistakes, you guys. Give yourself no stress. Look at this. No stress. No stress. Oh, you like the frog. Oh, I get it. You were saying, let's see here. You like the frog. By the way, no stress. Stress is on the bus. Okay? Beep, 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 beep. No stress. Someone type in the word no stress. Someone type in beep, beep, beep. Give yourself a uh, license to make mistakes. Give yourself license to make mistakes. You have to fail to succeed. Now, uh, Stormy mentioned a frog. I think it was in this book under F. It's all, uh, let's see here. A, B, C, D, E, F. I, J, J, K, A, B, C, D, E, F. Let's see here. Uh, there's fla there's fabulous floating frogs. That's that's cool. Isn't that fun? Yeah, but I I did a um, I know I did a toad too. Let me see, S T. Let's see, there's a toad. Oh yeah, that's a cool one. You like that toad? That's on page one ninety nine. That's in the drawing of three D. Oh, I love I love showing my drawings from my book. Uh oh, I have books falling everywhere. Ah. I have so many books stacked up here. They're falling off my shelf. All right, let's put the thickness here. Let's put that thickness. So the door's on the right side, so I'm going to go uphill in direction north. What direction is that? Someone typing. What direction is that? Someone typing in the text box. Okay, so you go up in that direction. What direction is that? This direction is northeast, and then you draw the thickness inside there. Okay, what direction is that? I need someone to type in the te text box. We're using the same direction here. And I didn't quite quite make that. I want to match this direction here. So I'm going to make it a little steeper. All right. And the sun's up here. Now, look, I'm going to put a hallway back here. I'm going to move up just a bit. And I'm going to follow that. Look, at, I'm going to put a hallway. North. That's right. This is uh, direction. This is up. No, there you go. This is northeast. This is direction what? What direction is that? You're almost there. This is northeast. This is north what? What direction is that? That's right, northwest. All right, inside here, let's darken inside. We did that hallway. Let's darken the inside here. Now, if you practice these, I want you to take these lessons, and I want you to get all of this. Share the link with all of your friends in your social media group. In your family, okay? And also, would you do me a favor? I want you to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to my uh, uh, lesson. My son is always wondering why why I don't have uh, a million uh, subscribers on YouTube, like his favorite vacuum cleaner repair guy. So help me be cool on uh, YouTube or Facebook. You can like and subscribe. I, I have. I have this little note here. Where is it? Where is my little like and subscribe? Oh, it's right there on top. Boom. Here, I guess I could do this. I get all fancy. Here, I'll get fancy. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Here, subscribe. Make sure you click that bell right there. Make sure you click that bell so that so that you can get alerts when I come go live. Okay. I love I love moving that around there. All right, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for doing that so I can be cool in my son's eyes. So I'm going to shade all the sides away here. Hey, I know the bottom I got fancy with my directing. I can move pictures around. Here you go. Shade, I'll shade here. Look at this. We're shading down the side. It's a different value. I'm making it a little darker inside here. See that? And this is opposite the light. See that? A little different value. I'm loving it here. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, channel wasn't born when I did my shows. Yeah, 
but there you can still watch them on uh, Amazon Prime, you guys, on my the Imagination Station. You can still see them on Amazon Prime. Woohoo! Yay! All right, take your pencil. I'm going to shade this. Not as dark as the back wall, but I will shade it. It's away from the sun. I'll shade that edge here. And on the ground, you know me, I love shadows. Put a cast shadow. The shadow comes down in direction south west southwest because the sun's over on the right there you go i think i'll put a little more i'll put a little bit just a real just a value in, in inside there see that just a little value and then now uh, up here look at this i'm going to put a value up here too inside that edge here see that i'll shade a little bit of value look at that doors in the pyramid isn't that cool now i did some really cool Fancy doors on this one. Look at this lesson here. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you this one here. I did this one where I did some. Let me if I can. Here's the arches. I'm pretty sure it's in this one. Oh, there's this cool doorways in the mountains. That's cool. I want to see if. Oh, there's some doorways on that archway. I want to see if I. I want to find. Ooh, here's some doorways and arches in the castle. See that cool castle right there? Isn't that fun? That's on page 149 of the You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. But I wanted to show you this pyramid that had here it is. This is cool. This now look at the, the look at the bonus extras on this one here. Do you love it? See the floating pyramids and see the doorway and the steps. I love it. That's on page 134. Of you can draw in 30, 30 seconds. Okay, you can get that on my website at markkissler.com. All right, now, if you do get it from my website, I'll autograph it. Just be sure to put your name who to autograph it to. You can get it from Amazon.com, but I'm, I won't be able to sign it for, for you if you go through Amazon. <laughs> All right, now, uh, we're going to go across here. Watch, I'm going to put this horizon line. Put this horizon line back here. Now back here, I'm going to put some pyramids in the distance. I'm going to put some overlap. You can see, I'm going to put draw this pyramid back here, and, and then I'll put a put it like a really. I'm going to erase the center line. We don't need that. That was just a line to help us position our drawing. See, so I'll put a I'll put this line here. I just looked at the clock, and I only have 15 minutes left. Yikes! Because I have to do my school assembly. Coming up here, it's going to be cool. Well, I use Zoom, and I can teach a 1,000 kids at a time on Zoom. It's so cool. If you want me to schedule a, a live school assembly with your school, parents out there, PTA parents, I'd love to, I would love to come to your school via Zoom. And I'm just going to put row. Look, I'm putting all these. Look at these. I'm, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of pyramids back here. Look at this. Isn't that fun? Put a vertical line. Look at that. Look, I did a whole row of pyramids here. See that? I think I'll, I think I'll do one more. I think I'll do one more kind of tall. Look at, look at how big that one is. Look at that one goes way back there. So then, so then it's up to us. We got to take our pencil and we'll shade all these pyramids opposite. Pyramids of each Egypt. Look at this one. This one is giant. It looks a little awkward. Again, if you don't like the line, no problem. You can take it and oh, make it come down a little bit more there. That looks a little better. Now I'm going to make the different value just a little bit darker on this one in front. There's our horizon line. Now look at right in between. I love putting a, I love putting a little bit of darkness in between. Let's move our way across. Look, I'm using my finger to kind of smooth it out. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to shade along here. See, I'm trying to get keep my shading going in the same direction here. And I love the nook and cranny. I love putting a little nook and cranny here and see between those pyramids here. You can use your finger and smooth it out. Well, I didn't blend it. I just smoothed it. I blend on curved objects. Uh, uh, Channels is saying... Uh, oh, at four. Give me a one through five, you guys. Five is great, and one is help me. I was a uh, help, help, help. How are you doing skill, skill wise? One through five. Five, you're doing great, and one is help me. The minions are taking over. Help me. Let's put some shading here. 
Of course, you can use your Stompy to blend it if you want. Uh, look, the channels are saying that. Uh, oh, I see. In Pakistan, she can't. Uh, it's uh, it's midnight in Pakistan. You, well, you can watch the re The recordings are posted. Uh, channels in Pakistan. The recordings are posted, so you can draw with me these lessons. And share them with your video. Uh, they're recorded, right? They're recorded, so you can watch them uh, later and just put your comments on. Okay. I, was, I don't want uh, you to miss some lessons, so make sure you just go back to the recordings. Episode 1 through 7 so far. This is episode 7. All right. So we're just putting it overlapping. I'm putting some little uh, little value here to separate, little separation shadows. Now, i got to... In this book, let me show you a more advanced picture of this one. It's in my You Can Draw in uh, 30 Days book here. This is You can get this on Amazon, too, or you can get it from my website. If you get it from my website, I'll autograph it for you guys. Uh, just uh, If you go to the website there at the bottom and you buy this book, autograph it. Be sure to uh, just get the $20 version of the book. You don't have to get the $50 autograph version. I'll autograph it for free because you guys are awesome. Just uh, go to the website, order the book. Of course, you can get this book for free if you buy any of my prints. I have I have so many cool art prints here. These are just a sneak peek of just a few of them. You get any of any any art print, any of my art prints, I'll send you a free book. Any book you want. Okay. Let me show you this pyramid real quick. Look at this. See, this is in the book. I use these over and over and over again. They're just a great. It's a great practice. It's a great practice exercise here. All right. Uh, so you have Egyptian theme project stormy. Oh, look at you guys are having a little chit chat on your in the text box. That's cool. Shade. That means I'm not going fast enough. If you have time to chit chat with each other in the chat box, it means that I'm not going fast enough. So I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit here. All right, so there's our pyramids with the. There's one with the door with the cash shadows. Let's draw the marching mummy real quick. We have about. 10 minutes, I'm going to fly through this one. Good thing you have it recorded so you can push uh, pause. All right, now here we go. Bob Ross, you guys have mentioned Bob Ross. Yeah, Bob Ross was just as cool and chill as he uh, as he appeared on uh, public television. I met him several times at different public television conferences. My show started airing about eight months after his first season. If I have my timeline right... Uh, he had uh, his his sessions. His show was on a little uh, little before mine. Mine was on usually after uh, uh, Mister Rogers and Reading Rainbow, and uh, Bob Ross was on it usually earlier in the morning. Uh, but it's really cool. Uh, I'm going to draw this mummy guy. Okay, so watch. I'm going to draw the mummy's the mummy's uh, body. It's just a big big chubby mummy here. See this big chubby mummy? Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to block it. And now I have to erase this down here because I want to make the mummy marching. All right. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to very lightly. Look, I'm just sketching it. I'm scribbling it in here. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And I want, if we look at what I did earlier in my earlier lesson with the, the marching marshmallow. So I'm going to make this mummy. And he's going to be marching here. See, this is getting large as it comes towards you. See that foot? That's size. See that? This foot is size. All right, now watch. See this line here coming in southeast? I'm going to use this line in directions. I, you know what? Uh, that's okay. I think I'll make this come down in direction southeast. Okay. And we'll, I'll darken these in here. You can see the detail. But before I darken in the rest, I'm going to draw the arms. I know I'm going kind of fast now because I just looked at the clock. And I only have a few minutes and I want to draw this mummy. So here's size again. Look at the arm gets larger as it comes out. Remember those 12 Renaissance words? That's the chart that's in that book. Uh, you can draw in 30 seconds. I'm going to draw this four shorts in circle. I'm drawing real light to begin with. Now back here, here's size. This is smaller. It's further away. See? That light. Uh, Reading Rainbow, LeVar Burton. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I never met LeVar Burton. One of my... One of my uh, on my one of my wish lists uh, meeting uh, Chris Van Alsberg on my wish list and uh, meeting uh, 
uh, Lynn Johnston from Better for Worse or uh, meeting uh, Susie. I met Susie Spafford from Susie Zoo. She's just delightful. She was actually a guest on my show. And I met Mona Brooks, the author of You Can uh, Drawing with Children. She's just wonderful, genius. Now, I'm going to darken these. Look what I'm doing. I'm going back and I'm darkening my lines. I know I'm going fast, so you can go back and you can watch the recording, okay? Now, again, thank you so much for liking and subscribing, pushing that bell on YouTube, and uh, uh, making put comments. Please post your artwork. Post your artwork to Facebook so I can see it. Please, 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 please post your artwork to Facebook. Uh, I love it. Yeah, it's, it is a doughboy. I'm going to put the shadow. The shadow lines are going in direction northeast. See this? Take your pencil. See this? Put that. Put that shadow. Isn't that fun? Do you love it? Love it, love it, love it. Here he is. He's waving. Uh, I'm thinking about going, uh, going all July and August. I'm thinking about it, and I think uh, I think this two o'clock time, Central time, seems to be uh, the best the best time. Is that right, you guys? If I continue next week at two o'clock, if I continue next week at two o'clock Central time, this time would how many of you would continue? Um, Oh, uh, Larissa Driggers. Hi, Larissa Driggers. She posted this on her personal page. Uh, you can post it uh, Instagram. You can post it on... Um, uh, ooh, uh, with, uh, you know, however you want to post it. I'm not. I'm pretty lame with social media. I'm. I'm uh, doing doing okay. Trying to. Uh, trying to. Um, get you know get the hang of it after all these years you can see i'm getting fancy with my obs studios uh look at this i'm putting these curves these are called contour lines you guys these are really important you want to give your drawing shape and volume well this will be a chubby mummy a marching chubby mummy curve these lines even more than you think you have to curve these lines even more than you think you have to curve them curve them curve them curve these lines here and now this is interesting just by changing the direction of the curve we can make this uh, leg um, look like it's really coming towards you see i'm following that foreshortened circle curve a lot just by changing the direction of the curve curve them even more than you think you have to know so they curve more as they move away from your eye and here up here i think this is where i'll put the uh I'll put his eye. The near eye is larger and the back eye is a little bit smaller. I think I'll take this and I'll give him a little eye here. And he's looking over his shoulder. See that? He's looking over his shoulder. And I want to make this a ninja mummy. So I'm going to make that. That'll be his his headband here. That'll be his ninja headband. You can see his, his headband's kind of flapping here. And I'm going to definitely be using... Uh, uh, my blender, okay? I'll be using my blender here. So, so good to see you guys. So, so far this week, we've had over 2,000 views, uh, participating families with uh, my lessons so far, Monday uh, through today. And I'm just so pleased. I'm pleased that so many of you are drawing with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, here's my here's my uh, sales plug. Thank you for being patient and and uh, and letting me do my commercials to support my efforts here. Um, I have this wonderful website. It's called Draw3D.com right here. Draw3D.com it has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lessons. It's usually two hundred dollars a year, but if you want to, to get it during this website this week, here's my code family fifty. If you uh, use that code for 50% off, it's $99. I'll give you a free book. Okay. And I'll add in any of my art prints. I'll add in an art print, uh, one of those art prints. And here's, here's, the, here's the special bonus for you. Here's the special bonus. I'll send you this original uh, drawing here. If you want this original drawing, uh, be the first one today to get that. Uh, Use that code 
family 50 99 dollars for the membership i totally appreciate the support totally attitude of gratitude thank you thank you thank you thank you get that get that membership be the first one to get it today and you will get this drawing now if you're not the first one i will send you an original drawing i have thousands of them i will send you an original drawing the first one will actually get the actual lesson here the actual lesson and i will write the name of the lesson where are we going to write the name right here uh i guess i'm going to write it here drawing days of summer drawing days of summer alive i'm in a hurry you can tell i've got to get that assembly going got to get ready for my school my virtual assembly Woohoo! yay if you want me to do a school assembly with your kids i would love 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 to do it use i'm gonna use my finger to blend it see this i can't stop myself even though i'm out of time i can't stop myself this is episode help me what episode is it you guys do you remember what episode help me I'll sign it down here. What episode? Episode six, seven? I can't remember. Mark Kistler. And it is July 14th, 2022. Episode seven. All right. There we go. Well, thank you, guys. We did good. That was, uh, we did well. We did really well. Here, back here. Look at this. I, have, I can't stop myself. Got to put a little bit of a sky back there. I am way cutting it close uh uh t by journey says mark i have a youtube channel can i post my artwork yeah as you can put it in the tags are pound mark kistler let me see if i have my tag here good question on the text box pound mark kistler you can just tag it to pound mark kistler and that'll show up with all my other tags uh be sure to like and subscribe i got to get a million followers on youtube a million likes or million subscribers on YouTube to catch up with my son's favorite vacuum cleaner guy. I'm not cool in my son's eyes until I get that. So thank you. All right, I gotta go to, on to the school assembly. Bye everybody. Hey, Dace, Day, good to see you out there in uh, in England. Good to see you out there in England. Bye guys. Take care.